Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to the next in our Volunteer Leaders webinar series. Uh, this one will be about our new chapter and organization landing pages on the new Mizzou.com um, that'll be coming for you next year. Um, this presentation is going to be given by Jen and Connor from our alumni communications and marketing team. Uh, so we are really excited to have them uh, explain to us and show us even some pictures, the sneak peek of what the new website is going to look like and how it will be helpful for our organization. Great. Thanks, Morgan, for the introduction. So I'm Connor and Jen is with me as well. And so Jen is going to get us started with an overview of what these new pages will look like. So before we show you the new page, um, just to refresh your memory, this is what we've got going on on the site right now. Yeah, so if you're familiar with what our current pages look like, this is just a screenshot of one of them. Um, the way the site is currently set up doesn't lend itself very well to displaying the information. Um, it's not very easy to search for your chapter currently. You have to scroll down through a long list. Um, and this is what the current landing pages look like. So we are really looking to improve this uh, moving forward as we launch the new site. And so drum roll, please. We will show you the new and improved chapter landing pages. Yeah. Ta -da. <laughs> <laughs> so we're really excited about this. Here's a screenshot. Um, of obviously, Tiger County isn't a real place. It's just a mock up of what a potential chapter page would look like. So you can see below kind of some local statistics, like how many tigers are in your area. If you have social media pages, we'll link to those. It'll show your local chapter contact as well as your liaison. And um, some chapters um, might have a um, alumni space landing page, um, and that will be shown here. Um, most of you do not, and that's totally fine. This will serve as your main page for those alumni to come look at. Um, and so typically that will not be on the page. Um, this is as, as if you're scrolling down the page, local events will be listed below what you just saw. Um, and so this is kind of a new feature that we're really excited about currently. Um, lots of local chapter events aren't displayed on the site. So um, going forward, um, if you have events that you know are coming up, we really encourage you to get those to your liaison and the engagement team as soon as possible so they can be listed on your local chapter page. That way, if someone's coming and looking for this information for the first time, they can kind of see what you have coming up. Something to note here is that these aren't um, necessarily for watch parties and things of that nature. These are for overall larger events like um, Kansas City's Black and Gold um, Night, or if you have an event planned at the Corn Maze or a Trivia Night, things of that nature that are bigger events that might require registration are things that can be displayed here. Um, on the next slide, um, you'll see for things like watch parties, there'll be another module underneath the event um, listing for where you can put your standard watch party location rather than creating an event for every single watch party, um, because especially for basketball season, there could be a lot of those. We'll just have a standard listing of where your watch party is um, on any given game day and then a link to visit your, their Facebook page to learn more. And that's where we encourage you to make events for each individual watch party. And then finally, at the bottom of the page, we'll have this um, module connect with our chapter. And this really allows you to link to specific things tied to your chapter. So you can link to the specific appeal code to um, register uh, and uh, track people who are joining as members for your specific alumni chapter. You can also encourage them to update their information and their address in our system so that they can get your chapter announcements and you can know that they actually are in your area and start inviting them to their your events. And there's also a Give Now page that will link directly to your scholarship, um, your scholarship giving and encourage them to give to your chapter if you have scholarships for your local students. This is also something really excited about. This is the new search feature for a chapter. So like I said um, earlier, currently to search for a chapter, you have to scroll through a big long list on the page. Um, and it's not very convenient or easy. And this new feature, um, you can see in the listing on the left, it says find the local chapter. You select your state, and after you select a state, say Missouri, um, it'll populate options within Missouri. So obviously this is, once again, still a mock-up. There are way more chapters, of course, in Missouri that we um, haven't added to the site yet. 
but they'll be listed in alphabetical order. And um, as soon as you select Missouri or Kansas or Oklahoma, the chapters in that area will populate into select a network, and then you'll be taken directly to their landing page. So like I said, really excited about this. It makes it a lot easier to locate your chapter and um, hopefully get people to the landing pages to find out more about you. And so when it comes to the names of the chapters on the drop down list, Right, yes. So um, to make it a little more easy and intuitive for people who are maybe coming to this for the first time and not familiar with local chapters, um, say, for example, um, uh, the uh, Omaha chapter, I believe, is called Tigers, Tigers of the Corn. Tigers yes. of the Corn. And so if you select Nebraska and then you go to the drop down, it won't say Tigers of the Corn. It'll say Omaha. But then when you're taken to the Omaha landing page, it will say Tigers of the Corn. And so this is just to really make it easier for people who aren't familiar with the area. They might not know that Omaha is Tigers of the Corn or Wichita is Tornado Alley Tigers. Um, but once they get to the landing page, we'll introduce them to that fun, unique name you have for your chapter. This is also on the um, main landing page for chapters. Um, if, uh, if you remember the module we previously looked at where you can search for a chapter, if you scroll down on that page, you'll see this box which says by affinity, and this helps you get to the landing page for an affinity group. So uh, MBAN, the Letter Winners Club, Marching Mizzou Alumni Band, things of that nature, um, this is how you'll navigate and get to those. And the landing pages for those will look very similar to the one you saw for chapters. And so when it comes to keeping these pages updated, um, MAA liaisons will be totally responsible for keeping everything current. So there is nothing that you will have to worry about on your end as a chapter or organization. Um, but if you're being proactive and you know that there's information that will need to be changed, um, feel free to reach out to your liaison and they can update that for you. So again, your website or your landing page is really a great resource to direct your members to for that general information about your chapter organization. Um, so the standing meeting locations, watch party locations, um, contact information for your leadership, um, that's where you can direct your members to the landing page to find that information. And also for your event registration as well. And when it comes to timely information, um, that's really where Facebook and social media comes into play. Um, and that really provides a great opportunity for chapters to um, stay engaged with their members, to be actively pushing out information to your members. Um, so when it comes to a website, that's a place where someone might navigate the first time when they're learning about your chapter. Um, they'll take in some of that general information and then from there, they'll connect with you on social media and that's how you can stay engaged with them. Um, so we'd really recommend um, putting out that timely information, photos, recaps of your events, um, reminders about scholarship deadlines, all of that on Facebook, in addition to, as Jen mentioned, um, promoting your watch parties through Facebook events. Um, again, that's a great way too, to expand the reach of your Facebook or of your uh, watch parties because then people's friends might see the post, people can share it with their friends through Messenger, um, lots of great benefits to having things on social media. And that's all we have. We're really excited to be able to share these pages with you um, in spring of 2020. And we have some really exciting updates to come. So thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks everyone. And if you have any questions, uh, as you can see, the contact information is on the slide right here. Or of course, you're welcome to contact your liaison for any other questions that you wanna ask that maybe are a little more chapter or organization focused. Um, thank you again for your time.